What was the dumbest rule your school enforced? In grade 8, we were banned from standing in circles at recess because of potential scandalous activity going on in the middle. We stood in squares instead. For a while in my school groups of kids would stand in circles shouting fight 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 until a teacher came to break up the non-existent fight. God we were assholes. We couldn't wear winter clothing, jackets, hats, gloves, in class because they were gang symbols. This was a small farm town in Wisconsin. Besides obviously having no gangs. It was fucking cold. Even indoors. In the winter. But clearly wearing warm clothing is something only gangs do. I'm a cheerleader. And for school spirit week I wore the uniform they gave me. I got dress coded. That is the ultimate high school moment. They banned wrist watches. No one knows what the reason was. Our school banned hugging because it was erotic. As you can imagine. The boys at school started giving each other very sensual high fives for the rest of the year. Can't wear two men a matching shirts because you could be a gang. This was in regards to a kid with cancer wanting to make a bunch of shirts. My high school was in buttfuck Nebraska. American school seemed to be obsessed with the idea of gangs. No backpacks to class. But purses were allowed. Girls started carrying around purses big enough to be considered a backpack. Guys got pissed started carrying purses too. Deleted. Removed. Middle school had banned salt and pepper from being used in the cafeteria. Claimed it was too unhealthy. Still sold Mountain Dew in the vending machines. School I used to teach at had similar rules. Some bullshit about federal nutrition standards or something. We'd just keep them in the teacher's lounge along with hot sauces and chamoy and a few other condiments and leave them on our desks. In my freshman year of high school we had a terrible vandalism problem. The bathrooms would be broken in various ways almost constantly. In a stroke of pure genius. The staff decided that any bathroom that was vandalized would be closed for the week on first offense. The quarter for second. And permanently on the third offense. And X 200B. They took back the rule after closing every bathroom on day one. Holy shit recently at my high school someone stole a fucking urinal. I have no clue how someone manages to do that. In sixth grade they switched out all student chairs for large rubber stability balls. There was a strict no bouncing rule. It was a disaster. Edit, this was in Arizona in the late 90s for those asking. The idea was to promote better posture. This wouldn't work with any age group. Let alone sixth graders. Prom was a mandatory lockdown for the night in order to avoid students going to parties after prom. Prom was held at various house parties across town instead. I hate it when schools shove their noses into everyone else's business. Shoes are to be worn as the manufacturer intended. I have no clue who was wearing their shoes incorrectly, or how. But this line, verbatim, was repeated to us over the morning announcements when there were perceived infractions at various points throughout the year. Maybe people were drawing on their shoes? They decided everything bad happened in the last five minutes of lunch so it got five minutes shorter each year. Any group more than five had to be up to no good. So no groups over five. Edit, this was not some big city. Public school for troubled kids. It was a tiny Catholic school in a tiny farming town. The worst offense. By a student. Of the whole time I was there was some kid walking across the street to get a soda from a store. Oh, this? This is just two groups of three. If you were involved in a fight, you got suspended. While well, it sounds reasonable, context didn't matter. I got suspended once not for throwing a single punch. Kick. Whatever. I got suspended because someone knocked the books out of my hand and when I reached down to grab them they punched me in the face. I got suspended for walking down the hallway and unprovoked getting punched in the face. Fuck Brandon Valley Middle School. My buddy got suspended for something similar. His Marine Corp MP mother told him in no uncertain terms that if anyone tried that shit again, earn that suspension. Fucking surprise surprise. The dude tried that again and he went ham on that kid. Busted nose. Torn ear. Black and blue for weeks. The fallout was exactly the same as not fighting back at all except my buddy got a pat on the back from his mom and a new video game. Tell you what. No one tried that with him again. If it wasn't zero tolerance then it wouldn't be a problem. Someone gives you some physical trouble and they get punished. Easy peasy. They've got cameras everywhere. 
surely it would be pretty easy to see. You couldn't wear any kind of head items that were gang colors, red or blue, this included hairbands, scrunchies, beads in your hair, ribbons, anything. I got in trouble for wearing a blue hairband with white polka dots. Don't joke about the polka dot cartel. My high school mascot was Daniel Boone holding a musket. A kid wore a Guns N' Roses shirt to school and was told he had to change shirts because of the pistols on the shirt. He pointed out the hypocrisy of the school mascot and they changed everything. The mascot was switched to holding a flagpole instead. Every instance of the mascot was changed from the multiple signs outside and around the school to the giant picture in the middle of our basketball stadium. Holden. You're a fucking legend for this. Hey at least this shows a consistent internal logic. And lack of hypocrisy on the part of school admin, although definitely a lack of self-awareness too. Suspension as a punishment for skipping school. Don't want to come to school? Well now you can't. Until next week. Edit, and no tank tops in a desert climate. Because shoulders are too sexy for school. Grade 12 I got suspended three days out of school for skipping school. Parents didn't even have to call in for me. It was great. They banned hats because hats can be used to signify gang colors. The only major crime group in our area was the Hells Angels and they certainly weren't having people wear hats for children to signify their allegiance. It was so bad a few years after I graduated I came back to volunteer as a chaperone for a school trip as a favor for my favorite teacher. The principal saw me wearing a beanie from across school he literally sprinted half a mile to chase me down and tell me to take off the hat. When I told him I wasn't a student and didn't have follow the dress code he said either take off the hat, leave or he'd call the cops. It wasn't the actual day of the trip. Just had to show up to get the itinerary and stuff so I just said, fuck you. I'm out. Idiots. Oblivion guards be like. I love telling this one. We had percentage grades. And if you earned 100% in a class for the semester you would be dinged down to 99%. Because only God is perfect. As far as I know this was not an official rule. And I only know of it happening one time. To the girl who eventually became our valedictorian. But that was the reasoning she was given. It was a Catholic girls high school and there were a lot of other weird, strictly enforced rules. Especially around the uniform. But the only God is perfect rule will always take the cake for me. Did they just cut the percentage of a single person? You got in trouble if you wore just a Hanes white t-shirt after school because you were in your underwear. Might as well just wear your literal underwear to make a statement. My high school band t-shirts that had the cover of Rush's album Signals. An album popular at the time. Which features an image of a dog sniffing a fire hydrant. They considered it scatological because the dog was about to pee on it. This struck the entire student body as extremely stupid. And roughly one stroke two of the student body picked a day to wear the t-shirt. We won. Imagine how terrible it would be if kids found out that dogs pee. We weren't allowed to have cough drops in our elementary because the school considered them drugs. God help you if you had a headache. Oh, you need an aspirin? Well, you need to eat more fiber. Because that's tough shit. No fist bumps. The reason for this is that kids might accidentally punch the other person in the face. Edit, the school I went to was in a pretty rough area so there were a lot of incidents where kids ended up getting into fights. Took all the doors off the men's room bathroom stalls because of vandalism for two months. Same as my school. But for all four years. We had no TP or mirrors either. We were all given these ugly planners at the beginning of the school year. With a few pages at the back filled with hall passes. If you didn't have your planner. Or if all your boxes were filled. You weren't allowed to go to the bathroom. And no. You couldn't buy a new planner. Or borrow one from your friend. The only excuse you had was if you had a doctor's note. But no doctor is going to give a note for an upset stomach caused by the school lunch. Oh wow. I totally forgot about this until you said this. We had those too. Some teachers gave extra credits to kids who never used any of their hall passes. I went to a school that had block scheduling. So our classes were two hours long. Pretty messed up that we were incentivized to never use the bathroom. Now that I think back on that. No jackets. They think we may hide things like phones or bombs there. I hope you grew up in Hawaii. Thanks for the upvotes and awards unknown humans. We had to wear belts. 
Someone snitched that people weren't wearing belts under their sweaters. And they actually checked and a bunch of people got detentions. Stupid. We had belt raids at my school where the dean would burst into classes. Completely interrupting any education. To check that everyone was wearing a belt. Attended all girls high school. You had to bring a male data dances or not attend at all. No going solo or with your girlfriends. So backwards. Those sound like very empty dances. All the kids, 6th or 7th grade, started putting pink laces in their shoes. Don't know why, but the school officials banned colored laces saying pink is a gang color. Girls must wear skirts even in the cold back rain. No fitted clothes for girls. This was high school. If the swell of your breasts or butt were visible due to tight fabric you had to go home. This wasn't a religious school. This was just a school run by dumb pieces of shit. I'm assuming bustier and curvier girls get a lot of trouble? My freshman dorm at a religious college had a list of rules that filled a legal sized sheet of paper. It included being in your room for forced study time every night. Keeping your towels straight on the towel rack. And making your bed by 9am every day. Including weekends. So if you wanted to sleep in on Saturday morning you were supposed to get up, make your bed, and then go back to sleep in top of the bed. Ah yes the freedom of adulthood. Deleted. I did a research paper in college about how terrible standardized testing is for schools. Teachers have to focus on preparing their students for the test rather than teach them the actual subject. The worst part is that standardized test scores determine funding for public schools. The lower the scores. The less money the school receives, the less money the school receives. The harder it is to effectively teach the students. Which leads to lower test scores. It's a horrible downward spiral. Involved in a fight. Same punishment regardless of fault and this led to more dangerous fights due to everyone just going for it. Saw people use chairs. Cricket bats and anything just to hand. Getting expelled from the school was really hard as it was the last chance school in the area and after that it was a special reform school. My high school had half the bathrooms closed off at all times because they feared the students would smoke. Some kids at my high school overdosed on drugs at school so they put guards in front of the bathrooms and only let one person in at a time. This was a school with 1,200 students and exactly two available bathrooms per gender. What ended up happening was students would wait in line for an hour and miss more than half of the class period, 90 minutes classes. And surprisingly, that rule didn't last long. A girl and a boy couldn't sit together. The school employed disciplinarians to roam around the school and monitor this activity. If found, you'll get a reprimand. If found repeating the offense, you get sent to the principal office and if continuing, then eventually escalated to the parents etc. LOL. My parents would have just laughed if my school called to tell them I sat next to a girl. We can't use black pens. Like why? Deleted. That's kinda reasonable if you squint and turn it upside down but tf did people in your school not drink water or something. No more than five friends could hang out together during lunch. Our HS principal was trying to crack down on gangs. But I never saw a single teacher enforce the rule. No backpacks in the halls. Oh yeah. Because carrying all of our books between classes was a great fucking idea. Plus hardly any time between classes to exchange books meant carrying multiple classes things at once. Edit. Looks like this is the norm for quite a few people in school districts. Doesn't make the rule any less stupid. But to be fair it depends on your school. My middle school was 8 or so classes a day with 3 minutes between classes in a large school where classes could be far away from your locker. My high school was four classes and a much smaller building. But my friend's high school was similar to my middle school situation. My school was the same no backpacks. Period. I heard it was enforced because bombs could be hidden there but Jesus for real? No playing on the mini golf course. Due to the school having mineral rights on oil land in the mid 70s. Our school system had huge amounts of money. One thing they did was get nine concrete animals on the playground for miniature golf. These looked like a lot of fun to play on for kids. And they were concrete so they were indestructible. They took up one stroke three of the absolute center of the playground. We could not touch them. Play on them or get anywhere near them. In pay we broke out the putters once in all of grade school. A few years later they had the high school seniors take them out with sledgehammers. 
probably a stupid liability issue. Kids fall off stuff. My school banned backpacks at one point. To protest boys just didn't bring anything with them to class and girl brought really big purses. One of the funnier things that happened because of it was an interaction between my friend and a teacher. Teacher, where's your book? Friend, in my backpack. Teacher, and where is that? Friend, at home. The $200 blazer was compulsory and we got detention every single day until we got it. No rubbing linseed oil into the school cormorant. This is the quality word salad I need right now. No bits. School me. Couldn't even if I tried. If we spoke our native language instead of English, we had to pay a fine of about 30 to 40 cents. Zero tolerance to bullying. The faculty were the worst ones. Too many double standards. They had no problem enforcing it when a student was doing the bullying but did absolutely nothing to punish the teachers when they did it. My favorite teach kids to be afraid to defend themselves because of looming authority. They banned dodgeball. Oh yeah. Me too. They banned soccer once. 1. No hats. Period. Unless you were devoutly Jewish or Muslim or some other religion that required it. 2. No torn pants. Shirts or other articles of clothing. Not enforced at all. They still have it today. 3. No long jackets for boys. It was just fine for girls. What if your family just doesn't have money for new uniforms are you gonna get in trouble because your mom decided to feed your family instead of buying school clothes? School added thumbprint scanners at gates of school which counted as registration. Needless to say I would just walk to school scanned my thumb and walk back home with them none the wiser. Was a great few months until they noticed. Months? We weren't allowed to wear plain red, blue, yellow. Or white tees because of the white tee song and thought there was t-shirt gangs. And X200B. A second one was named after my crew. We weren't allowed to have any comic or anime artwork during school hours and students couldn't exchange money with each other unless the teacher approved. The Haynes Mafia is out of control. The last one sounds like the teachers were wanting to get their beak wet. Girls can't show your shoulders or above the fingertips with your hands straight against your legs. Boys could wear tank tops with holes in them and basketball shorts. Girls were sent home if their damn shirt had a neck hole too big. School I went to once had a policy against any drinks that weren't water. Granted I love me some water. But it sucks not to be able to have a nice Gatorade or something in school once in a while. Well, until I just bought a metal water bottle and circumvented that rule pretty quickly. Every school I've been in has been against those drinks. At this school. It doesn't stop the kids. One way always. Like just let me get to my class who gives a shit. A type of candy because people would pretend to smoke it. Don't know if it's dumb or funny though. Edit, it was smarties. We weren't allowed to play tag football at lunch. Only frisbee. When I asked the principal what the difference was, he responded with a sarcastic tone. A football is round and a frisbee is a flat disc. He left the school later that year, went to another school, and a few years later was brought up on charges for failing to report the abuse of a student by a teacher. Zero tolerance policy. Most zero tolerance policies for anything in a school don't work because the teachers that enforce the hell out of them don't understand the situation then when you try to explain you get interrupted before you say your first syllable. In elementary school, only grade 5 or 6 to grade 8 8 in the lunchroom. We would have a lunch monitor stand at one end of the cafeteria watching all of us eat and none of us were allowed to get up. The only reason we could stand up was to go to the washroom and we would have to raise our hand to be allowed to stand. When the lunch recess bell was about to ring, we would have to be dismissed table by table to throw out our garbage and before we headed out. Conservative Christian College. A group of us played Age of Empires one weekend. They didn't like it and called a meeting. Everyone involved got misdemeanors on their records. There was nothing in the handbook about it being against the rules. The only person that didn't get any punishment was the son of the president even though he was just as involved as the rest of us. Was quite interesting explaining the write-up on my record when I transferred. You got a misdemeanor for what? Edit they made it a rule after the fact and did this several other times with things such as nail polish or radio control helicopters. Sounds like a bunch of pathetic adults who have no real power in their lives so they have to conjure it up over some young students. 
Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Always had to have your shirt tucked in. Not a uniform. But literally just any casual clothes that were worn to school had to be tucked in. Basketball shorts and tank top? Tucked or you get sent home. Jeans and long sleeve? Tucked. So fucking goofy and authoritarian. But this was in a rural school in the south so I am not surprised. I was a rebellious 16 year old at the time and it pissed me off like nothing ever has. Everyone had to eat lunch silently. No talking. On Fridays. The audacity of our high school. In 2000. To forbid men from wearing Beaner's skullcap toboggans but let women wear them because and I motherfucking quote in the most sarcastic tone of voice you can produce in your head their accessories to our clothes. It makes my brain short circuit thinking about it even today. Circa 1994 to 1997. No hugging. Like at all. First offense was a write up. Second was detention. Third was in school suspension. Locked bathroom doors in the period after lunch. You should have gone at lunch. Also banned duct tape accessories back when that was a trend. They said it was gang activity. Couldn't play tag outside. No wearing hats inside. No trading stuff from your lunch. This was all at my elementary. The belt rule. If you were wearing a shirt that was cut to be tucked in, you were required to wear a belt with it. If I'm remembering this right. I'm convinced it was an excuse for the principal to line everyone up so he could walk by and look at all our asses. Total creepo. Edit, my apologies. I'm mixing up two different schools. Because it was a long time ago. And I moved around a lot. In the belt check school. You had to wear a belt if your pants had belt loops. The shirt rule was at a different school. But they didn't have a special assembly for it. They just made kids tuck in a shirt that was cut for that. You know the kind with a curved edge. I truly did not expect this to get any attention whatsoever. And almost didn't bother to comment. No jackets with hoodies. Early 80s. May. Girls in miniskirts. Guys in running shorts. The miniskirt issue had been settled by courts years earlier. And miniskirts were protected by law. Principal goes to a conference. And the VP bans running shorts as a distraction. Football team shows up in miniskirts. I almost hit on the middle linebacker. He was full drag. And looked fine from behind. Girls skirts had to be longer than their fingertips when they held their arms down to their side. Unless you were a cheerleader on game day. When you got to wear a much shorter skirt all day long. My school had the same rule. They had to revise it after a girl showed her fingertips reached slightly past her knees. Because it heated up to 100 degrees regularly outside. They couldn't demand she only wear pants because shorts weren't made at that length. So they ended up changing it to like shorts and skirts couldn't be more than I think 3 inches above the knee for girls. No hats or headgear unless it was religious or you had cancer. In college I loved wearing beanies. Means I didn't have to comb my hair or style it. Or constantly fix it between classes because the beanie messed up my hair. Deleted. No touching the walls. They restored a building with historic value using, among other things, period appropriate paints. They then opened the planned primary school there and proceeded to try to get children to respect the restoration work. So we had a few years of benches in the hallways being 10 centimeters from the wall and children being reprimanded for leaning against the wall before the faculty gave up. They banned nail polish. But why? No brand name anything in the lunchroom. So you couldn't bring a small snack pack of say, Doritos. In your lunch it had to be in a clear plastic sandwich bag. Also no food or beverage allowed in class this included bottled water. As an adult I now know the terrible headaches and migraines I suffered in my teen years were caused by dehydration and not being allowed to drink water during the day unless from the nasty water fountain. The high school I went to for part of 11th grade band work boots. Army boots. And hiking boots. I don't know what their issue was with boots. I wore a pair of knee-high punk boots. They were not work boots. Army boots. Or hiking boots. They made me take them off anyway. The next high school had the same rule. I wore the same boots and made the same argument. They let me wear them while calling them hooker boots in the office. They weren't hooker boots either. Just plain black. Knee-high leather boots. Around 2011-2012 my school tried to ban yoga pants because it's easier to see the butts. 
a ton of guys started showing up in yoga pants to protest. Some because they liked seeing the butts and some because girls had way too many dress code regulations already. My school got on the news and embarrassed the administrators so much that the rule was reversed. Fucking legends. This reminds me of when some boys wore dresses because they couldn't wear shorts. No band practice like there is a band room in THR center of the shul. No Pokemon cards, primary. And now, here, it's, school swimming is mandatory and we will whoop your ass if you don't do it. We had a stupid rule at my school. If you got in enough trouble to get an out of school suspension, you weren't allowed to come back until your parent parents came to the school for a beating in person. Only during school hours. Mind you. 8.33.30. Well, I was living with my dad at the time and received a one day out of school suspension. My dad was busy as fuck and worked pretty much every day from 8 a.m. 8 p.m. And was never able to get to school for the meeting. What was supposed to be a one day suspension ended up with me missing 10 days of school. When my dad finally managed to get to the meeting, he fucking reamed the principal. Yeah my school takes your phone off you until the next day even if it's a Friday and your parent has to come and collect it. The boys in our school were not allowed to have hair that exceeded the width of a finger. Our principal used to check that by running her fingers through their hair. If their hair was long enough to outgrow her fingers, they were sent to a barber shop opposite to our school for a haircut. Dumb and weird. UHH. That sounds like straight up sexual harassment to me. No wallet chains because the school thought it promoted gangs. We were told they were offensive weapons. No farting. They gonna bring in a detective or something if there's a weird smell? I went to school in the UK. If you were too warm and wanted to take off your blazer. Tough shit. To take off your blazer everyone in a classroom to take it off so you all look the same. If someone was opposed to taking it off you all had to keep it on. Sitting next to the radiator was a pain in the ass. During the summer months we'd have designated non-blazer days these were days when the school was probably scared of accidentally killing students by forcing them to wear their blazers. Red, royal blue, camouflage, and solid brown were banned colors because of gang affiliation. They even went as far as making us all cut the Jansport logos off our backpacks. Boo I was my mom pissed when my brand new backpack came home with a slash in it from the teacher not paying attention while ridding me of my gang affiliation. So she sent an invoice for damaged property? In my school you are not allowed to sit on specific seats that are reserved for year 12 students. Even though all the Y-12s go into the reserved place in our library. When I was in high school, there was this rule where you can only wear hats that have school logos. I had this starting in middle school. I actually got in trouble for wearing a grey Disney hat with little Mickey heads made of plastic gems on it. In 7th grade. Oh. Look at this 12 year old girl with a Disney hat. Must be in a gang in the nice part of town. I also had a friend who got in trouble for wearing a Dolphins, the football team, hat in 7th grade. My middle school was very strict on hats. It was ridiculous. Our school once ruled that pay did not end when the bell rang. But before. You were supposed to be out of there before the bell rang. It ended. Thankfully. Once an entire class ignored it and just did their thing like it had always been done. Before psychos achieved majority in the rolling body. They banned playing cards. But Uno was okay. So we just played hearts at lunch with Uno cards and once in a while one of us would just yell Uno with like 5 cards in hand. When in the cafeteria. You can't turn more than 80 degrees around. They had to teach the younger kids what degrees were just for that rule. No water bottles outside the cafeteria. This teacher would hide around a corner just outside the cafe when lunch ended and anyone walking with a bottle of water past her would get Saturday detention. Pokemon cards got banned in middle school because someone stole the vice principal's kids cards. Yep. We had a strict rule from the Ministry of Education that bans witchcraft and magic and envy in schools. True story. They banned envy? An emotion? They banned the word Pokemon because a couple pathetic sacks of testosterone collected nudes of girls in my school and called it Pokemon. Freaking idiots. If you didn't have a hat you couldn't do pay. Really it's not dumb. Especially in the Australian sun. But that's as far as stupid rules ever went at my high school. It was awesome. Seriously. 
school uniform consisted of so long as you're mostly wearing the school colors. And by year 11 they were happy so long as you turned up wearing pants. There is a lot of dumb rules almost all schools enforce when I was in elementary you could not put your hands in the shape of a gun and in all schools I have been in you can't wear a hoodie and for some reason so does banned in every school as well. No hoodies because they were associated with gangs. This was in elementary school. Edit, you could wear the hoodie but not with the hood up. Some fucker got headphones and music banned to wear all the websites like Spotify and Pandora got blocked by the school. Best part yet the bastard dropped out of school a week after that. We weren't allowed to play tag because it was a no-touching school. The school my siblings went to started a policy like this. It was frankly creepy and I think encouraged unhealthy attitudes on social interaction between kids. My son's teacher said not to bring his notebook to school anymore. Yes. A notebook. She said that it caused a distraction because he was always writing in it. Yes. Writing. Not doodling but actually writing. He was in first grade at the time. And thus. The problem with public schools. So. They don't teach reading writing and arithmetic anymore. Fuck. American schools are strict I live in Estonia and reading through these comments I feel like I live in paradise. Our school doesn't even have an enforced dress code and the first thing our principal told us was that there are no strict rules in this school because we believe you're smart enough to not do anything too stupid. So don't use our trust in you in a bad way and don't break our property. One teacher wanted us to write down what time we leave and return to and from a bathroom break. But this rule was soon just forgotten.